it's your boy, Kelly Eden, reporting to you from the studio that has a really bad echo and really bad acoustics. Uh, yeah, it's still pretty empty in here. We have cement floors and still trying to work on a way to improve the sound, so sorry. Plus, I've been really, really busy, so I haven't had too much time to work on the studio, and getting the sound in here fixed is gonna take a while. Uh, but I did have enough time to film my Japan haul point two. This time in Japan, I only spent about four days, uh, and I didn't have much time to shop at all just because it actually was a working trip. So I had maybe two days that I could do stuff. Uh, one of the days was right when I landed at four o'clock in Tokyo. I went right from the hotel, checking in, right to Harajuku, and me and my friend Namiko just went shopping down the strip but we only had like a couple hours before everything was closing down uh, the other days were just kind of like remainders of the days after we had meetings or after we had filmed shooting um, but I'm gonna be showing you guys some stuff that I got from the Sailor Moon Cafe um, stuff that I got from the Square Enix Cafe that was featuring Final Fantasy 15 at the time and also things that I got from the Sailor Moon store which all of you guys have been talking to me about so I got some pretty good stuff uh, it's definitely not gonna be as much as last time because I spent two weeks in Japan but you know what I did some pretty good damage so without further ado, this is my Japan haul, point two. So this is the first thing that I got. I got it at Swimmer in Harajuku. I've talked about Swimmer before. It's a really adorable kawaii shop. Um, this is probably one of my favorite stores of all time and it's gonna be closing in January, which I'm super sad about. But on the upside, they had a lot of different sales. So a lot of things were marked down about like half price. So anyway, back to the bag. It's a really cute lilac color with a bunch of pale pink pretty stars. Uh, they look cream in the camera. And then on the inside, it's kind of like a satin liner. Um, I got this so I could put my uh, drawing pencils in it. It has a really pretty pearl on the zipper and it was only three bucks. And then I got these scissors. These are just for my desk. I really liked the case that was on it because of the little like Pegasus pony. Um, I actually got a box cutter too, but they confiscated that at customs. I totally forgot about it. But yeah, just cute and pastel, so. And then I got a little bit more stationery. This is actually a really cute pencil sharpener. Um, again, I draw a lot, so it's nice to have a, a, like a cuter sharpener because, you know, my life has to be cute. I'm not ever gonna be not cute. You dig me? Uh, anyway, it's got a cute gem on the front and it's very like magical girl. So I think this might have been a dollar, maybe less, not really sure. This I got at Wego. Uh, this was in Harajuku as well. It's a cute like video game, I don't know, passport holder, card holder thing. Japan is really all about these um, train ticket holders or for your pass or something like that. So I got a lot of them even though LA doesn't really have a metro or anything. I don't ride the train or anything, but I liked it. I got this pin of Aranea at a gachapon at the Square Enix shop. They were having the Final Fantasy 15 cafe. And actually the first time I did the gachapon, I got the king, which I didn't want. But one of the waiters had this on his vest. So I said, hey, do you want to trade? He was really confused at first, but he traded and everyone's like being really sweet. So it's a good memory. This was a gift from Hiroko Tokumine. I met her once at the Kawaii Summit and she made it for me and had her sister who works at a maid cafe deliver it to me. Um, I was really surprised. It was so generous and I absolutely love it. Hiroko is a Lolita wedding dress designer. So she made this for me by hand all in one night. And of course it features my husbando, Sephiroth Fighting Cloud from Advent Children. And then on the back, it's just like all these beautiful detail, like high-end fabrics. Like I can't even describe how beautiful it is. On the top, it has a drawstring. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put in it, but it's like so precious. I'll probably just put it in my Sephiroth shrine, you know, to worship for all eternity. This is something I got at the Square Enix Cafe. Um, this was part of the merch that I first saw when I came in. It was the first thing I've ever seen that was pink from Square Enix, so I had to have it. Um, it's actually just another one of those train passes. Um, Japan's really into like cute train passes. Not that I'll ever use it for the train, but it has a little moogle on the front. I don't know if it's real leather or not. It certainly doesn't feel like it, um, but I really liked that they used a different color scheme. Usually Final Fantasy just goes for like black, gold, silver, gray. And then it has the 15 emblem on there because they were promoting the Final Fantasy 15 cafe. Um, not really sure what I'll use it for, but it's super cute. So I was happy that I got some sort of kawaii Final Fantasy merchandise. Oh, and then it has the pulley thingy. I thought that was pretty cool, right? It's good for people who have ADD like me. 
So there's the Square Enix logo, and then on the back there's the Final Fantasy XV logo. This is an eyeliner that I got at the Sailor Moon store in Harajuku. Um, it's one of the only things that I got because everything was pretty much sold out. Um, the eyeliner is actually pretty good. I already tried it out. I already did a unboxing and try on. Um, the link will be down below to that video. Um, so it features a silhouette of Usagi and Luna. Um, the overall design is pretty good and I mean it's a dinky little plastic thing but it's a lot of fun. It was about $16. Instead of a felt tip it actually has a brush. The other thing that I got was some candies that I saw. This was on the other side of the Sailor Moon store in the blue like Princess Serenity area. Um, I already tried them. They're like hard candies with like powder on top of them. This one is flavored strawberry, but they really don't taste like anything. Like they kind of taste bad, and, which really surprises me because usually for Sailor Moon, they've come out with pretty good products, but yeah, it just kind of sucks. It's gross to be honest. Um, but then I also got another can. Um, I got just two of these from my friends who are really big Sailor Moon fans. Um, so yeah, I hope they don't think the candy's gross. Then I got this little gem, and this also came from the Sailor Moon store on the other side, on the Princess Serenity side, and this was part of a gachapon. Gachapons are really cute, like vending machines, and you just put $3 in and you get a little prize. So I got this little dish. Um, people usually put their like vitamins in it or something. I'll probably put makeup in it or some sort of lip balm or something. And then this I got from the Sailor Moon Cafe. This was our placemat, and as you can see, it was actually very straight when I got it, but the only way to get it home was to roll it up. This is also from the Sailor Moon store. It's just a very simple mirror. Um, I found these just on the side. There were just a few left. There was also a mirror with the Outer Scouts on them. It's definitely really cute. Um, this is a collaboration between Sailor Moon and a company called It's Demo. I don't really know what they are, but I think they are some sort of like home decor shop that does collaborations with people or something like that. It actually has a good amount of weight to it. It is metal, it's not plastic. There's a pretty decent sized mirror. So this is just gonna go on my vanity and just kind of be there for show. Um, I do like the artwork on the back. I like that it's a little bit more pastel. These are surprise keychains that we got at the Sailor Moon Cafe. So um, in the merch store, you can buy them. They're all mystery items. And I really wanted Usagi, but I got Chibiusa, which is still one of my favorites. So I was really excited. And then I got this cup. Um, I actually got the matching set. So it's a cup with all the Sailor Moon like brooches and items and stuff like that. It's a plastic, but somehow it feels like glass. I just liked that it was pastel and really, really cute. Um, and then I also got the matching one, which represents all the Outer Scouts and their wands and stuff like that. I thought it was a really adorable design. I wish they did more in this design. Like I thought a teacup or a teapot would have been really cute. Um, I got matching plates as well, which um, have the Sailor Moon Cafe logo on the inside. Um, again, they are plastic, but somehow they like have a weight to them that feels like porcelain. So I'm surprised they didn't break. And of course I got a matching one too. They were about $8, which I felt like was a fair deal, um, but I wish I bought more. And then this I actually got on my last Japan trip and I forgot to show it. This was also part of a Sailor Moon Gachapon. Um, it lights up, it's the legendary silver crystal. Can you see? Uh, probably not, but yeah, it lights up, I promise. And then this I got at Mandrake. This is one of the Sailor Moon cosmetics. This is like a lip balm in one of the brooches. This is the first brooch that she had. It's actually in a metal case. I did an unboxing and a review of this guy, which I will link down below as well. Um, I ended up really liking the product, both uh, in the design and I liked the actual makeup product as well. And it has quite a bit of weight to it. It's pretty good, 10 out of 10, it was 30 bucks. Here's an update on my Sephiroth Wego bag, or as some people call it, Ida bag. Um, I got this little keychain of him in this shop in Akihabara, and I opened it at the Maid Cafe, and I was so excited! I only got two of them, and they're like little mystery keychains, so I was really excited that I got the one that I wanted. Um, but yeah, there he is, and I've ordered a couple more pins, but it might take a while for this to fill out. This is a bag that I got at Swimmer. Um, I really liked the colors and the design with the little Pegasus. I also like the complimentary pink on the top. Um, this I just got for like basic makeup, like when traveling um, and that it was cute. It was actually only $3. 
Again, everything was on sale, so it used to be seven. Okay, finally, onto the clothing. This is a sweater that I got at WeGo. Um, it was actually pretty cold in Japan while I was there, so I got a couple sweaters. This is just like a baggy pink soda cafe sweater that I got, and uh, I like it. Yeah! This is actually something I got from my last trip. This is a Yu Yu Hakusho WeGo collaboration for their 25th anniversary. They had a Hiei one, but this one was pastel and the Hiei one was black and white and I love Botan, so I thought it'd be cute for just like a sleepy time shirt or something like that. And I love Yu Yu Hakusho. It's one of my favorite animes ever. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. This is something I also got at WeGo. They sometimes have like a vintage section. This is something I found upstairs. It was the first thing that I saw. It was so ugly and so cute. I bought it right away. I think it might've been $30 or something like that, but I love the color. I love all the floral. I think that this like fit me really well. I'm a really big fan of like big, ugly Easter pastel sweaters and I collect them. So I was happy to just find this randomly in Japan. Um, it's really super cozy and it's actually in pretty good condition considering that it's used in vintage from America. This is another sweater that I got from WeGo. It has another one of those like strawberry milk carton things on the front. But the thing I really liked about this sweater were the sleeves. Um, I like that they were baggy and they were kind of like sewn off the shoulder. I don't know what the technical term is for that, but it's just like really cute and flurry, flourishy, flur, what, whatever, what have you. And then like the little milk carton thing I thought was adorable too. So this is my favorite sweater that I got. I got quite a bit of skirts from Liz Lisa from the outlet section upstairs in Harajuku. And you know what? Bloomers! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you guys know I love my bloomers. Um, with this one, I liked the shape of it. I got it for $30. It was originally $60. I liked this little velvet bow and this kind of like weird shape that they have. And again, I'm not a designer, so I don't know the technical term, but it's like chiffon and really flowy. This is another one that I got. Um, this one has like umbrellas and parasols on it. There's a bow in the back. Um, there's a lot of shearing on the back as well. And I also liked the lace that was on the bottom of the dress. Bloomers! Ah, ha, 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 ha. There's only so much I can laugh at that. All right, and then here's the last skirt that I got from Lizzie. So this is a white skirt with light pastel flowers. And then it has two ties on the side. Uh, there's a lot of shearing in the back, which is really nice and really comfortable for me. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, there's bloomers. Are you done with that joke? Okay, let's move on. Here's my favorite dress that I bought. This is from Secret Honey. And actually last time I was in Japan, I didn't have too much of an interest in Secret Honey. Um, but I saw one of the clerks wearing this dress and I absolutely fell in love. I love the color, I love the shape. It's super modest, yeah, it's kind of cute and quirky. Um, I liked that it was like an underbust and it actually fit me. Um, I loved that it was pleated on the top, which gave these like really nice soft curves on the bottom of the dress. I loved the ruffles of the underbust. I also really loved all the like tiny little buttons on the front of the torso. Overall, I just really loved the ruffles around the underbust. I liked that there were two sides of shearing, so it was like super stretchy. This dress is like a 10 out of 10. This is a one piece that I got from Anc Rouge and it's my first time shopping there. Um, they're like little overall pants. Uh, Japan's really inspired by like modern French wear right now. So it has a crisscross back. It has a drawstring in the front and then it has those same like ruffle sleeves on the suspender straps. Um, and then you can see on the bottom, oh, don't look at my feet. I'm kind of in bail waist. This is another dress from Secret Honey. I saw one of the store clerks wearing it and I had to have it. Um, everything about it, I thought the shape was really unique. It's also really modest and you know, you can switch it up. I love the heart in the back. I think that's the thing that really sold it to me. Um, I like that it had tie strings on the back. Um, also the shoulders I thought were really pretty. They were very inspired by these kind of like ruffle half sleeves. Um, there's shearings on either side of the dress and then there's two tiers of these like petticoat. It's not lace, but it's like filler dress filler. I, I don't know what to call it, but it's really flowy. Oh, I also wore this on my date if you must know. And then I got another Touch the Heart Sweet Talk backpack. I just loved it so much. I had to have another one in full pink. So this is from WeGo. It's great, isn't it? It's just, it's so perfect. This is just a gem of an item. Well, after three international trips, I am exhausted. Thank you for tuning into this video. If you're new to this channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. There's gonna be a little button at the end of the video with my face on it, and if you click on it, you're gonna be part of this family, and we are just a wholesome, loving, positive family, and we just have fun every single day. 
Also, if you'd like to be a supporter of me and get more interaction with me, there's gonna be a link to my Patreon at the end of the video. You can sign up for anything from a dollar to $30, depending on what rewards you want and you know what you're comfortable with. There's no obligation to sign up, but it definitely helps me as an artist. So until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day, bye!